This announcement was unexpected. The mayor even saying he didn't see it coming. It's now up to the council to fill that vacant seat, and it could have major impacts on the overall makeup of Seattle City Council. All of Seattle all City Council member Tammy Morales is stepping down. Well, I didn't see it coming. Morales shared the news Wednesday morning in a letter to her constituents. In the letter, she accused others on the council of eroding checks and balances. She also claims that her work as a policymaker was undermined. I feel that there was probably some personal animosity there. There were certainly lingering feelings towards Councilperson Sawant, uh, with whom uh, Morales was, it would be fair to describe her as an ally. Patrick Shatmer, a political science professor at Seattle University, says the resignation itself is unusual. We see people resign from the city council in the past, but usually that's to take either take on a promotion um, or uh, to avoid a scandal. Morales was re-elected in 2023 for a second term, representing District 2, which Shatmer says is one of the most progressive areas of the city. She says she will vacate her position on January 6th. It's sort of hard to be the odd man out when it comes to uh, a political balance, and so being in the minority is never fun. Mayor Bruce Harrell says he was also caught off guard, but thanked Morales for her five years of service. Whether we're disappointed or not, I'm sure a lot of people that support her, and she has a lot of support out there, are disappointed. Uh, but, you know, the fight is is bigger than one person. Council President Sarah Nelson issued a statement thanking Morales and pushing ahead to the person the council will soon appoint to fill Morales' seat. I think they'll try to pick someone who is not, you know, opposed to their uh, to their agenda, but sort of speaks to or represents the interests of the district. The council has 20 days to fill the vacant seat, and the countdown begins for that on January 7th. In Seattle, Bridget Chavez, King 5 News.